was bad. <laughs> Why are you saying it was bad? She tail whipped Megatron off the table. It, I, I like how you managed to time it just as we were going live. It's what I do, man. So. Hello. It's back. So, uh, I, I do want to mention that the reason that we did not start on time this time was because of Christian. So, Christian, if you can apologize to Randall for, uh, for being late. <laughs> uh, sorry, Randall, I guess. Glad you waited on us. Yeah. <clears throat> so, it, it's, always, it's always one of us, but uh, this time it was Christian. So, anyway. But, it wasn't uh, welcome, me. everyone. Yeah, yeah I like it wasn't the end of the always time. me, but it's not actually always me. I'm just grumpy about time. I think yes. we should start at like 2 a.m. because it'd be better for me. Yes, mm. you just put ish on on the time. Ooh, whatever time it I is. I like it. Let's do it. I think even if it was 2 a.m., it would probably not actually start on time. So, it oh is man. 2 you guys want to be awake. Yeah, they, they had Anna in the uh, pool this week for why we didn't start on time, so... Well, you lost money, and I'm happy. So... Because you bet against me. You deserve what you get. And oh, is, is so Ron, nice about us. As Ron so says, it is 9.30 somewhere, so... Yeah. <laughs> there, there we go. Um, anyway, oh, so, uh, so we got the, the regular road. crew, Lucas, Anna, and Christian, and, uh, this week we are doing yet another repaint, uh, from, from Netflix, uh, but this one is, is, is pretty good, so it's the doing Netflix new figures, Megatron. Like, we thought that was too rad. We didn't like That's doing That's true. New we figures. can't do that two That's weeks in a row. Repaints. So... We told Anna, we said, there's no way that we can, like, do two expensive figures, like, new figures in a row. So. But, uh, so, yeah. So, we've got Megatron. I think you, I'm the only one in tank mode. Um, Good. So. Someone has to be. But the nice thing with the tank mode, it kind of shows off, like, the gradient of the colors better. Like, I don't yeah. think that you can see that as well. It's more of a straight silver for the most part uh, in the top and bot mode. But like this, there's like a a gradient to the. Let's see if I can move. It's hard to see. Like, if you can see here where like it's really pronounced, like on the back here. Yeah, uh, it is. Once you move it. So. But yeah, yeah all of these started. Netflix figures are um, like this gunmetal gray underneath. And then uh, painted, so. And we can start talking about the tank mode. I mean, so we have, this is the rare day that we've actually already talked about this mode twice. Because we talked about the original version very briefly back when we didn't know what our format was. And then we talked about the goofy menthol version that I do not like very much. Um, a while back, and now we're talking about the finally nice-looking version. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think in general, I mean, I don't think it's a bad tank, um, but I think in general I'd rather have them make a good alt mode, or a good robot mode, and then if the alt mode is it suffers because of it, you know, oh well. So let's put it that way. Among the Siege Decepticons, he has a fantastic alt mode. That's because true. That's the true. Siege Decepticons have butt alt modes, except for Spinister. And Flywheels. Oh, yeah, Flywheels. I forgot he existed. It's been so long. Yeah. yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, those are okay alt modes. Catherine, definitely. This is definitely the best version of the mold. No one's going to argue there's, beyond that. There's, there's no question. Spoiler alert for Final Thoughts. Yeah, I was going to say, all right, version. well, I guess I guess the show's over. We've uh, It's the best version of the mold. There we go. All right, good night. But why is it the best version? It's because they <laughs> painted it aside. Why? We can tell yeah. you why. So, like so yeah, said, the tank it, mode. It, it's not a bad tank mode. It's okay. It's not awesome. It's, fine. it's okay. It looks like a tank. Yeah. Yeah, it resembles the tank enough. 
Well, we, we quickly like find the, out. Oh, sorry, go on. Well, I feel like the upcoming Earthrise one is going to have a better tank mode, marginally, but it won't have as good of paint, so we won't care. So the tank mode of the Earthrise mode is essentially all they're doing is is they're putting a little piece here that is, is a separate little parts forming piece. So, I mean, there's some other small differences uh, with it as well. Like, I think the treads are going to be solid all the way across and whatnot. But, like, that, like that's pretty much the big difference is is that it's just going to have a parts forming piece that you put in the back of the tank to complete it. So, And I kind of wish this one did have a piece to put on the back. Like, I feel like you wish it did. It doesn't, but... Uh, okay, so Rick in the chat is asking us, so like we're saying that this is our favorite Siege or whatever. What is our favorite Megatron overall? You gotta be more specific. I hold up like, the new age just, Megatron. Just overall, what's your favorite Megatron? Uh, Cybertron. I think, unfortunately, I don't even own my favorite version, which is probably MP36. I mean, I think that's the best one. MP36 was my favorite, but just having this on my desk for the past few months and realizing that I can play with this and I can transform this and it has, you know, the same faces, which my favorite thing about MP36 is the faces. Like, I really love the expression of faces and they copied them almost exactly for the new age one. So it's become my favorite. It's only playable toys, and he's not he's not complete torture to transform, and with the upgraded legs, he doesn't look like poop in the legs. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Not this one. This one is really good, though. Like, it's not a bad Megatron. It's probably going to be, like, second or third place for most of us, probably. Yeah, I was trying to decide, because I really also like that Make Toys, the um, <laughs> really both of the ones they did uh rider despotron which is like the chug one and then they did a despotron as well and that one's actually a lot more fun like their mp scale megatron's a lot more fun to transform than mp36 um so that one's a fun one to check out if people can track it down yeah. as i say do we have anything else to uh to say about the the tank mode before i it looks uh, nice it's so a parts former you still have to put together his sword thingy and his cannon to make the cannon. Otherwise, it just has a giant gap on top. It's super okay. Every version of this mold is okay in tank mode. It's way better now that it has paint. I actually it's don't mind having like a stubby little... Like if you just do it like this with a stubby little t uh, tank and just toss the sword thing. Um, I don't think it's horrible. I mean, this isn't real tank anyway, so. It doesn't look great. Eh. Definitely hey, at least the turret the rotates turret. all the way around, so. It does if you force it. It's not that hard. It's not forcing. So, interestingly, like, the, the conundrum we've had the last few days is me finding this figure to be too tight to mess with. I had trouble transforming it because of how tight my um my uh what are the what are the rolling the roller oh, things treads, treads thank treads. you thank you I lost the word again so my treads in the back here were so tight I couldn't get the the tank face to go inside of them to make the tank mode and I I literally thought I had forgotten how to transform the figure over it because I just I really don't like forcing my toys. It feels like I'm going to break them. But, um, yeah, so I've noticed now that I'm more mindful that the whole thing is really tight. Which is both good and bad. You know, it'll loosen up over time if I keep playing with it. Yeah, I mean, mine was a little tight at first, I guess. But, I mean, once you transform it once, I think it's fine. I mean, that's true of a lot of figures, down. though. It is. It is. I'd rather I'd rather have it like that than you know have it just be loosey goosey. Yeah, I just didn't want to break it because I I don't hate how this one looks like I do Menthol Megatron, so I I wanted to not break it. I think this is cool. 
Yeah, but the difference with this is it's a mainline figure and you got it from Walmart. So if you break it for some reason, like you just take it back and be like, it's broken. True. True. Except I don't go outside, so I can't take it back, but it's okay. Uh, yeah. I guess you can convince someone else to take it back for you. Yes. yes. I'll just ask you to do it, Lucas. It'll be great. So. Um, Transformation-wise, this guy, I, I have to admit, even though I had trouble transforming him because I got a joint stock and couldn't get it to go, it's actually not complicated. He's actually really simple to transform. And it's not too painful. You know, it's fine. As far as the transformation goes, to get a bit of cat mode, as Christian's currently is. It's the best mode. Cat it mode? Is. I don't know why she's here. She's cute, though, right? Here we go. Yeah. What's the main idea? Yeah, it, the transformation on this is actually fine. Really, I feel that this toy is fine all around, and it always has been fine, but I'm going to keep saying it as we keep talking about it, but the paint really punches this one up. I mean, it, it always looked okay. The unpainted gray plastic of the original issue was a problem for me. It kept it from being great. Uh, this paint, the silver paint that they've kind of just put all over it on you, um, kind of makes it so it's my favorite G1 Megatron now. My de facto G1 Megatron. Yeah, I can see that. I, you know, I've been talking about the tightness on mine as a bad thing, but one thing is, I remember when we were first, like, way back in the day, when we were first thinking about doing the show, and I had Lucas bring me the new siege stuff so i could see it and he brought the megatron and i started playing with it and you know i touched his head to try to pose it his head just went inside you know this whole neck part just pushed down and because this is so tight i can actually move his head without it just going you know there's nothing holding it so if i push down too much it'll collapse in there but it'll actually stay up now on like other versions of the toy i've had that is one thing they're fixing on, on Earthrise. The Earthrise Megatron head does not go into the body, so. That's a positive to an otherwise ugly looking toy. Yep. It, it, it's uh, ugly to me now because of this one. It, I mean, it's that same unpainted gray plastic that you know, Siege had. And it's okay. The alt mode is fine. The rope mode is, you know, kind of okay. It's got big old parts forming chunks, which is not okay. And it's just unpainted. I mean, this looks incredible. This looks very premium. I'm glad I paid for this. The other one, I was like, wow, I can't pay $30 for this. I mean, there's no paint on it. And I'm, I'm not ever that guy that's like, oh, I have to have all of the paint applications to make it you know, worth it. But man, this no. one's totally worth it. Yeah, this one is totally worth it. The gradient is cool. Like, this whole gradient paint thing they're playing with right now, it's really neat. It just looks nice, and I think it works really well on him because it's like, you know, it's gray and gray, and it gradients really well with itself. Yep, that's true. Well, then it, it somewhat annoys you, though, that they can fully paint a, uh, a figure that's an exclusive, but somehow the, like, regular retail, and charge the same price. I mean, I realize it comes with Target Masters, so it bumps the price up to 40 from 30 but still, like, I, I don't know. I would rather have, you know, really nice paint on it and i think in general like the the paint and battle damage on this is a lot nicer like just the the legs like that gradient that they do um i don't know if they're just trying different battle damage like ways of doing uh that paint but i, I feel like in general that this all of the netflix figures look a lot better to me than uh than the original ones We've said it you know, a couple of times before now, but gone are the days of space mud. We None of us like space mud, I don't think. And this is, if you're going to do battle damage, this is way better. Le yeah, leagues, it looks a lot better this way. Better. Of course, you know, it's like any other version of the figure. It lacks a few points of articulation. You know, it doesn't have her swivel. It just has the rest of the fold end. It does have ankle tilt, but it's okay. So one thing that frustrates me about the ankles, and I don't know about yours, but mine has the, the issue with the somewhat floppy ankle. It's not as bad 
as the original Megatron that I got, but it's still it's still there. And so I, I wish they would have figured out a way to fix the mold, and I'm hoping Earthrise fixes that. Yeah, my whole figure is excessively tight, so the ankles are also tight, which is great because my menthol Megatron, his ankles just, they just fall over real bad. But these are actually nice and tight, so that's good. Mine are tight. They're not excessive. It's a positive so. in this case. Yeah. The waist, you know, we talked about before, but the waist swivel runs into the backpack. We know this. We know the articulation on this guy. It's fine. <laughs> Although you can angle the backpack, and it's not, you know, hateful if you do that. Yeah, no. Like, um, right. I don't think it I breaks mean, it up. I mean, no. yeah. I'd say it's sword. better than Earth, uh, the Earthrise Optimus Prime. Like, you have to kind of mess with the Earthrise. Like, you kind of have to flip that down in order to get more articulation, waist articulation. Yeah. But, I mean, I think it's enough in general. Yeah. He's got a weird sword, still. And both the weapons actually have the gradient on them, right? I think, to an extent. Yeah, they do. Yep. Yeah. So that's nice. Yep. Yeah. They both have that. So there's really not a lot to complain about with him. I feel He's like this is the figure that uh, broke Christian, though. Because you're, like, so upset that this came out a year <sighs> later. You know, that uh, after the original version, where you're like, why didn't they give me this to start off with? Why did I have to wait a year and spend another, you know, however many X dollars to get a better version? Yeah, it goes back to what you said earlier that, you know, why can they give us this now, but they couldn't just give us fully painted figures to begin with at the same general price point. It's, um, baffling. I mean, yeah, I do appreciate that the exclusives are not an arm and a leg as opposed to like the old BotCon figures and whatnot, where, you know, they were expensive. I mean, I realize these are probably much larger runs and all that type of thing, but um, it, it is nice to play just regular retail for uh, a, a nice exclusive. I guess like, the way you could think about it is the original, they didn't want to put too much paint on because they still had to kind of make back their money for the mold. And I know it doesn't really work exactly like this, but now that they already have it, it's like, well, all we have to do is reprint the same figure, but we can do a little extra on top of it and add a little bit more paint. I don't know, that, that logic makes sense, but whether or not it's exactly what happened, it is a bit of a bummer to get the same toys reissued, and especially in the case we complained about it before, a Sideswipe and a Hound, but it sucks to get the same toys reissued that are extremely similar to their old versions. Just well, better. The, the big deal for me as well was, you know, we got the, the original one, and then this one and the Earthrise one were announced on the same day. Right. And they're both right. the same mold. I mean, Earthrise, of course, is, is remolded a bit, but it's the same thing. So why are we getting two more of the same thing? Anyway, that's what was upsetting me for so long. Yeah. I, I, I think the that. other thing is is that, um, I mean, there's still so many Megatrons on the shelf at my store. I mean, when I go to Target, there's like six Megatrons. So it's like, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they'll eventually sell through it by, Chris by Christmas time, but... It just, I don't know, it seems kind of crazy that they're giving us, you know, so many when it still seems like it's a little bit of a shelf warmer. Possibly a little bit. I'm seeing that here, too. Yeah. Also a lot Hello? of grapples. Huh. Rick, uh, Rick confirmed, like, what we were talking about, that essentially the first one is what pays for the mold, and then the second one's just kind of kind of gravy, so usually that they are painted nicer. That makes perfect sense because I said it, so therefore I agree. So, so um, the last thing I really want to say about you know this figure as opposed to other versions of it is something to realize. Like I have my lighting fixed now, so I actually have pretty bright light in this room again. So as dark as he is, I'm in a really well lit room at the moment. As dark as you know he is in Lucas's screen, he's in a pretty well lit room too. He's a very dark figure. Like, this is just a lot of very dark grays. Like, even though he's kind of got that, like, metallic, sheeny silverness, 
to the front of the figure. Still, if you put him on a shelf that's pretty dark, like I have black shelves without extra lighting, he gets kind of um, washed out a little bit. So he does need a pretty decently lit room and a display. Just he's very dark compared to the like crap gray plastic that Christians complained about. Not terrible, but it's just a thing that I've really been noticing today as he's been sitting on one of my shelves. I don't know if I can do it. My, my like, lighting is kind of odd today, but uh, I was trying to show off all three versions, the cel-shaded one as well. Um, let me see if I can... Triple threat. Um, but, yeah, it's... It's, uh, I mean, at least it's kind of cool that there's different, different versions and whatnot, so, so. So much better. Let me see if I can. I'm just annoyed that they're all Megatron. I miss different character repaints. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. At, at least it's Megatron. I don't know. I like Megatron, so. I, I like Megatron too. I don't like four Megatrons. And I only own two of them, so it's okay. Yeah, Mega Twins, not as needed. I thought it was a funny joke. Yeah, er Eric is wondering why, like, all the Siege figures aren't on clearance yet, but the Ultra Magnus somehow went straight to clearance. Because Ultra Magnus has a different product code. Yeah. I know, I know, like, at least for Target is, like, where I've seen a lot of the shelf warmers. Uh, with Siege, and they actually use the same DCPI, I believe, for between Siege and Earthrise, and so that's why it's not going on clearance. Like, at least for most of their stores. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I could grab Combat Hero Megatron 2, or, or Anna could, but I figured oh. that most people don't really care that much. I mean, it's just a complete, that one is a completely different character than, uh, than this one. Whereas I feel like a lot of people are probably going to be you know, if they only want to have one Megatron character, they're probably going to pick between the three of these, which is the, the cell shaded, the the Netflix, and the original. Now I can be friends. Well, I, I don't have enough room on my little platform here to really have them both stand very well, so they're here now. Menthol Megatron has joined us. I think I've forgotten that Combat Hero had a different head. Got he does head. have a different head. Just and like this crazy. one's head is better. Yeah. Yeah, I do actually like this head on it. The Playboy um, Classic just didn't help the Combat Hero head. No, it didn't. Accurate or not, it just didn't make it look great. But this one with the nice dark gray metallic finish looks great. They made this head work. Yeah, it, it's so good. I mean, I, I want to say it one more time, then I'll be done, I promise. The paint on this is really phenomenal. It's so shiny. It looks makes it look so good and so premium. Even, I mean, this is vehicle mode paint on the back here, but the treads are painted, and so therefore his back is painted. There's never any paint on the back for anybody else. This thing's awesome. Plus, he's got the cool little abdomen details, which is washing out in my light because it's so shiny. But he's got blue and yellow on his abdomen. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. Huh? love it yeah he's yeah. he's real nice like i just i don't know for a lot of people i think he's just part of the megatron you should go get because he's g1 enough the whole look g1 just don't try to turn him into a gun because it won't work out and he's looks good you know i think for a lot of people he'll be good enough to be your megatron the thing that somewhat annoys me is, is and I know I'm sure it's part of the show, but I kind of wish they just didn't have this battle damage on the chest. Like, could I just get a version without that? Because I can't really strip that off without stripping off the other paint. You know what? It calls back to his little twisty things from the toy to me. It does. Yeah. Okay, it yeah. kind of feels like okay. I know. I know it's I not that, that, but it kind of resembles it in my brain, so... It, yeah. it gets a pass from me. I know why okay. you would not like it, though. I mean, it's fine. It's just, it's still, I would kind of like it without it. Yeah. It's still a proof of concept of that whole do your Gundams with the Sharpie approach, which is still interesting to me. You know, just taking that, like, deep black ink pen 
and doing details and calling that battle damage. It's very interesting. It definitely looks a lot better on him than it does on Mirage. The way they did it on Mirage was blotchy and dumb looking. But these are these look good to me. I like the details. And okay. the other positive is that even though they could have to make him more accurate to the cartoon, they did not color his lips black to make mm. them stand out. They could have done it. There's enough paint on this guy. They could have just come dab dab and given him black lips. But no. So he doesn't have well, his they, The Earth Rise Megatron gets duck lips, so. Who's that? Yep. So. Great. So. On to his friends. They won't take very long. Frenemies. I did not grab them, but I'm happy to talk about them. That's okay. You actually like this one. Oh, you want to go one one first? I mean, go Pinpointer first. That's fine. Ooh, Pinpointer. Pinpointer. Who I refer to as the dumb one because I'm mean. Oh, you are mean. I am mean. It's because I actually took my other Pinpointer down and put them side by side. And I was like, oh, Oh, well, crap. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. it's just, it looks so much better yep the pinpointer is the missing target master for crosshairs great that he's got a release somewhere very happy to have him he kind of looks like trench foot yeah, though again. I mean it is fun though too that it's like you're giving Megatron a bunch of extra weapons so I mean not according to the package though what does it call them do you remember Oh, no. next to her. They they oh. don't go with Megatron. Oh Is really? Friends or something? Yeah, it says they're captives. Ugh. Oh, okay. Yeah, captive, captive pinpointer, prisoner. And captive Lionizer. Yeah, they are captives. So it's a little story element there, which is always appreciated by me. Sure. Yeah, no, it is snuck in there. That's fine. It's yep, stuck so in there. And Lionizer got captured. Fly Megatron, uh-huh. so now you gotta liberate them and put them back with your Autobots. Well, there you go. Yeah. And, Christian, you pay more attention than I do, but this isn't the first reuse of the mold on Pinpointer, right? Like, this has been a bunch of guys. No, I think Gun that's, Bolt. uh, it's Firebolt, right? I think so. So it's Firebolt and Trenchfoot and... That might be it. Okay. So it has a few uses out there. Yeah, but I think this is the third. It's definitely like I'm happy if we're gonna have one that it's the um the the handle goes in the back version instead mm-hmm. of the handle goes in the front that ketchup and mustard had last time we talked about these guys. Um so this is definitely, you know, an improvement because I like this version of the current Oops. target master better without the knob chest. Is an op chest just like it looks so lazy? It looks like a not done toy. <laughs> it's a bummer. Um, simple transformation. You know, we've talked about these guys to death. It's a bummer to me that a lot of the a lot of the newer target masters we've got and a lot of the newer usages of the target master molds have had a little more detail. They start to look really good, and then we get this guy, and he is just like one of the plainest. Yeah, you know, it's just like basics. he is red and black and a little dab of paint for his face. And he is done. And that is a bummer when you also have the LG version just light around your house. And you're like, which one am I going to use for my official pen pointer? Not a hard choice <laughs> between the two of these. One yeah, for, good, for those of us that did not, like, go out, rush out and get the... LG version, then, you know, it's nice to have a pin pointer. Yep, he hangs out with Crosshairs, and that's what he needs to do. I think it's really great that he's there. Just like I was happy that uh, Hair Splitter came with Skywarp last year for uh, Spinister. So plain. He's the plainest. It's pretty bad. But he exists, and that matters to me, so, yay. He's this. I mean, the base mold is fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with this Target Master mold. The only, I honestly, since the beginning of Siege, I thought the only thing really holding back this Target Master mold is literally these. Knowing that the LG ones exist, 
and knowing that they are so much more expensive and just a little bit better. So it's like torture. Because if they were a lot better, then you would just be like, okay, cool. I'll go ahead and pay the extra money. Or if they were roughly the same price or just a little bit more for an import fee, you'd be like, okay, I'll go ahead and get them. But with them being tremendously more expensive and also um, not that much better, it's hard to get yourself to get these. Like if I had Pinpointer, if I had this, because when I when I put out the effort to get this one, I kind of used the whole, oh, I want that wind blade mold anyway, because he came with the LG wind blade. So I just kind of used that excuse. Would I have been able to use that excuse if I owned this one? No, I wouldn't have got it. So it's a bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Yeah. He's there. That's what matters. Yep. I do wish he had more paint on him, but whatever. This is the one that's this. I'm, this might be the star of the set, actually. So we're talking about this is a lionizer. I don't have it up with me right now, but Anna's showing it. I think Lucas is probably showing it on the camera that I can't see. They took this mold, which has been used twice as black and gray, and turned it orange and clear orange, and it's amazing now. Yeah, it's a lot nicer. It's still actually bad. Don't listen to them. Oh, that's great. The, the first line. I, I mean, the mold is the accurate. mold. I'm saying the color. The mold is the mold. Then they made Dazzle Strike, and it was basically the same for some reason. Oh, what a waste. <laughs> I had a little tiny bit of green paint. This highlighter orange is awesome. And way so, more accurate to G1 Lionizer. So I will the say. In the Transformers trading card game, the Lionizer card is really good. And so I've actually grown to like Lionizer just based on that game because I had put him in a lot of decks. And so it's I, I like having a representation of him now because of the game. In case you guys aren't paying attention, old Lionizer kiss new Lionizer, they're friends. It's adorable. Oh, is that what it's they're doing? The, the cat robot greeting. So on Anna's suggestion, I took my original issue lionizer and this lionizer and switched the limbs around. So now I have an orange and black lionizer and a black and orange lionizer, which I'm calling cat gut. And I put with uh, the Decepticons. Because cat gut's awesome. Because it's like the goofiest It's the best. Oh, I a, no, I think that's I what I'm going to do too, actually. Yeah. It breaks up the monotony of having this it does. all orange. Dude, that this clear is orange pretty. blade. I mean, it's it's pretty, but the clear orange blade really just pops. I love it so much. What did this old Lionizer thing. come with? A friend? He's an action master? What? Come on. I have this. Which one? What, what are we talking about? The, the action master came with Rad? Yeah, the action master. Rad. Thank you. Okay. So it was an action oh master. So, so we're talking. This was what nineteen eighty, what eight, seven. Gone ish thing. I thought we were nineteen ninety one by then, but I could be wrong. Ninety one. I don't know. Somewhere around there. I I don't have TF Wiki up, so I don't remember. You notice I'm I'm favoring one side of my lionizer because he's a dirty secret. He only has. Three legs. Oh no. oh no. He does not have four legs, but it's okay. I guess the right He's answer is 1990. So. I was closer than you were. That's good enough. Yeah, and you know, the fun thing is, is that kind of like how we joked around about how there's a bunch of ween things now. Apparently, we're getting lucky to get orange figures and heavy sources because now we have, um, you know, we went from one lionizer for a thousand years to having two new ones and the siege lineup so why not right yeah he's great <laughs> yeah and this this is definitely the best use of this mold i just don't like this mold it is not a good mold i wanted i like the idea of a transformer that turns into a sword i was so excited for cat sword and it just is not that great. Now, we got an awesome bird sword with that Amazon Nemesis Prime a while back. So I still get my animal that turns into a sword. 
fix because you know that was on my bucket list i don't know i actually kind of like the animal weapons target masters better than the gun guys um i don't know i just for whatever reason the like all of the robot guns just don't really do it for me but i kind of like the animals so i don't know the gun guys are getting a little tired now just because there's enough of them out there that you can have a pretty good question to target masters pretty easy so i like to see the creativity too i still don't have shield man i just realized that i forgot i never got shield man yeah whatever his name is shield guy (laughs) ramp Oh, uh, sound, sound barrier. Sound barrier, yeah. Sound barrier, that's can, right. And I can send you one. Perfect. There we go. But we're not getting any new, any new battle masters for a long time. They keep repacking old stuff for Earth Rise. So. That's what it does. Good luck. Well, they showed off a couple of them, right? Like, we have the snake. The snake one. Well, their is coming to town. It's true. That and thing then is I'm, beautiful. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like, I swear there was another one, wasn't there? There were, there yeah, were two Fang. more ramps that were rumored but not shown. Oh, okay. For some reason, there's I thought... There's a Decepticon that... version of Sound Barrier, and there's like a four-way crossing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. So. Yeah, I just... I don't know. Like, I love the concept of the animals, and I think Slitherfane looks really cool. Snakey. But I don't like the Lionizer... I don't like um, Smashdown. Is that what the Minotaur is mm-hmm. called? Yep. You don't yeah. like Smashdown? He's I don't. Like Why? I don't. Yeah, man. He's a stumpy little hammer and a really awkward looking Minotaur. So I didn't really like either um, form for him. Am I missing animals? I feel like I'm missing animals. This is a pterodactyl. Uh, yeah, I like the pterodactyl. I like the, the bird yeah. axe. Bird axe I think that's the cool. best one. Yeah, the bird axe is pretty neat. Not as cool as bird sword from the Nemesis set. That's Giza. I know. Bird sword. Most people aren't going to know the names, though. They know bird sword, though. Hey, our audience has deep cuts. They they know their stuff. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe I underestimate our audience. They will know Giza. He's so important. <laughs> bird sword is beautiful. <laughs> The only arms micron to get two toys. Or two it's, molds, I guess. Yeah, so I guess um, our our overall opinion of this set is obvious. You know, the, the Megatron we all like so much that these two um, friends who came with him, frenemies, that came with him would have to be utter garbage for us not to recommend this set. It would have to be really bad. I didn't oh. have to actually cause harm. Apparently, yeah. I didn't upload last week's microcasters. I thought I did. I'm sorry about that. I'll. Uh, you did it. It's true. I'll, I'm, I'm sorry. I will. Uh, I will do that. Um, I, I, I will do that. Uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow morning. So I'm sorry about that. I must have. I, I don't know. Somehow I halfway did it and didn't actually end up making the post. So you see what happened. Letting me know. As he looked at it, and he was like, oh, that's not a repaint. He just said toss. Yeah. But this repaint one, though, this one will be up, like, yesterday. Exactly. Exactly. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. This thing is 40 bucks. It's a Voyager and two Battlemasters. I think that's a great price for this. I would pay it again. Everyone should definitely go get this. You're going to love it. It's an improvement repaint, so I'm actually more approving of this than I am other ones, oddly enough. Also, I didn't buy the original, so therefore it's like, I don't have to replace oh, anything. Do. I also didn't buy the, um, the cell shaded version. I didn't buy that one either. But this one, oh, I finally, I just saw it and I was like, wow, that just looks so good. And now I have like 200 Megatrons, so I gotta figure out something. Oof. Believe the number's three. Yeah, that's rough. No, I was going to say, I, I have a pretty fair Megatron collection now myself, so I could probably stand to get rid of a few. 
So Yeah, I don't think Catherine mentioned trying to find him online and I don't think he's shipping yet because I, I tried to get one shipped and I ended up just having someone grab him for me instead of getting him shipped. Like he's he's relatively easy to find at store. He, there was that someone in quotes. Do you want me to cite my sources, Lucas? Lucas is no, my source. Okay, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, there's like 20 of these in that big old shipper that's been going out to Walmart's yeah. around the country, though. So it shouldn't be difficult <laughs> to find if you do it within a reasonable amount of time. If you're able to get one, and you know, we wouldn't encourage anyone to go out specifically to the store just to get a Megatron. But you know, if you get to obtain one, it's cool. Very cool. The forty dollars set is not a frowny face. It's a great price point. I'm happy to pay it. I will pay it again for the next wave. Yeah, I, I think yeah. The only frustrating thing is is you have to figure out what to do with your other Siege Megatron. So poop yep. trash. You might have to go in the trash. Melt them. <laughs> no, I'll probably paint it into something if I can't sell it. I'm surprised. Uh, so Randall's saying that he never actually saw the Magnus, and I don't know if it's just because of the clearance. Like if people went in and scooped up uh, the clearance figures, because I saw. Let's see. I saw the Magnus figure like when it first came out, and and bought it at full price because I'm a sucker, and then, um, like I ended up seeing uh, three of them. I think at my Walmart after that, for like thirty five. But I heard now he's down to like nineteen bucks. Ooh, that's going to grab him for that price. I haven't been out to Walmart since I finished getting this group of Netflix figures. So I've, I've never actually seen the big old shipper that I keep talking about. So I've seen Magnus twice. I saw the one that I bought for full price and one at another location before the clearance. But I'm on East Coast, so you guys may have a different experience. But yeah, I was going to say the other thing about this Megatron 2 is is that you were complaining about the Generation Troy bowl because this Megatron had so much paint on them. You're like, oh, why didn't I spent, you know, whatever, whatever, however much the other figure was, 90 bucks or whatever, and it has less paint on it than this, you know, $40 Megatron. That's true. That's, that's ridiculous. Like, less paint, but this gets all the colors it's supposed to. There's just right. not a comparison between these two figures. There's not a comparison. This is premium, and this is a good version of a retail figure. Mm. I rest the case. Just reinforces that I'm really at a third party these days. Healthy, healthy choice. Yeah, it's probably better. Although, I'm not sure, you know, by the time you buy, like, four Megatrons, you know, <laughs> you could have gotten a third-party figure, but... You're right. Know. And before anyone jumps on me about it in the future, I am getting the last two DJD members from MMC, but otherwise, you know, primarily I'm out of third-party stuff. Well, I kind of feel like those figures can actually fit into... A, yes. a Hasbro collection because like there's yeah. no way Hasbro is going to make those figures. No, they will never do it, and that's why I'm buying them because they do fit in. They look great. I'll probably talk about them at some point. That'll be great. I'm excited. That'll be the time that I don't have the third party figure, but someone else is talking about it. I just don't have a strong enough connection to those guys for how much they're going to cost. All you yeah. would have to do would be to read the best piece of Transformers media ever produced. But you know, that's true. I mean, I've read parts of it with them in it, and they're not, they're not, they don't really see a lot of lines or anything. I don't think they're going to impress me. I mean, I, I will say that I don't have a strong connection to those guys as much as some of the other members of the DJD, uh, so I also won't be getting them, but. I'll be, I'll be, you know, one man alone. Shout out to all my bot posters out there. <laughs> Good times. So. It's a nice looking figure though, so, but anyway. All right, well, do we have any uh, final thoughts on this guy? I don't think Catherine so. asked I think we which, 
Which one of the two figures we were talking about since we were complaining Red Bull or comparing Red Bull to this guy? Which one was better for casual play? The answer is pretty obvious. Megatron's better for Red casual Bull. play, but but Red Bull's a lot better for posing and playing with. It's just, I mean, you're handling a ninety dollar figure, and that's just inherently more risky. He's yeah, more fun to play games. with. Yeah. Yes, yes. This is this is something you can play with, and if you do break it, meh. You know, one part of a forty dollars set, you break that Red Bull, and you your tears just start flowing. I mean, I do think the transformation on this is somewhat interesting. Like it's, it's uh, it's not like super complex, but it's complex enough to be interesting and different. Now, I probably will be annoyed with it by the time the Earthrise comes out because you know I've now have four versions of the mold, but you know that'll be your fifth version. How nice! Yay! I'm not getting it. You can't convince me this time. That's good. Don't get it. I'm not going to try and convince you. Good. Don't. It won't work. It's okay. It's okay. It literally so looks I'll, worse I'll be the than only this. one. I'll be the only one with Earthrise Megatron then, huh? Stuck me with that Siege Optimus. That was some garbage. Siege oh my god, Optimus Siege Optimus is, is so good. Bad. It's not as good as Earthrise, but it's not that bad. I am so excited. I'm going to... You guys will see soon. Siege Optimus in my life. Oh, the knockoff? Did you get a knockoff? It's like, it's seriously like this big. It's oh, humongous. I just had oh, to. It's so yeah. amazing. No. I there love it. I can't help it. It's such a good mold. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, I think we're done. Yep. Okay, <laughs> cool. Um, So, I don't know yet if we're going to have Ouch My Wallet. Uh, tomorrow night or not I was talking to Rob and he said that uh, it just kind of depends on if people have stuff so we will we will see but watch the page tomorrow we'll make an announcement uh, if we do decide to have it and then also catch it on uh, uh, Friday the um, Rick is putting together that Lego Optimus Chinese figure whatever that thing is Um, but he said it was like the most complex uh, Lego build he's ever done in his life, so uh, I get to edit that down here. So I'm I'm excited for that. Uh, so check that out on uh, Cut the Tape uh, on Friday, and then of course our regular show Monday nights uh, TFLP. Um, so we we had an episode uh, last night where we talked about some of our older figures that uh, we uh, still enjoy with our modern collection. Um, so uh, check that out on YouTube as well. And then uh, Sunday nights, uh, typically we have the TF Talk News. Uh, so that should be back uh, this week because he'll be talking about all of the Fan First Friday reveals that we're getting, uh, which I believe we'll be getting like six of those, I think, on, on Friday morning. So so should be exciting. Very exciting. Oh man, yeah. What's our predictions for uh, for Friday? Those Maverick, Corpse Prime, Hubcap, and three other things. Do you think that there's anything they're going to reveal that has not like already been leaked? I think we'll get one thing that hasn't already been leaked. That's probably fair. That I would be excited by that. So. But, uh, but yeah, Randall, like, I am going to be speeding the build up by, like, you know, 10 or 20 times because otherwise the video would be, like, two hours long. So, and that wouldn't be fun for anyone. So, all right. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, everyone in the chat. Uh, Randall, Ron, uh, Catherine, I think Rick earlier, uh, Ashley. What else did I miss? There's been a lot of people tonight. So we're very popular. Julio, a lot of faces I, think. I didn't recognize. Name faces. Er Eric. Um, so yeah, thank you to everyone that participated in the chat, and we will see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Thanks.